two nil win over Crawley at home. Uh, you must be able to with that performance. Yeah, pleased. Very good team we played today, and um, and we were really good. I thought defensively, uh, with the ball, without the ball, we were good and uh, and deserved to win. Do you feel that's the most complete performance, especially at home this season? Probably. Yeah, we, we didn't look in too much trouble, um, and and we look, always looked to threat going forward. Coming out the the gates early was was vital, wasn't it, in this game? Yeah, it was, and I, I was really worried about today because I've seen quite a bit of Crawley, and they um, I like the way they play. They've got a lot of pace in the team, and they try and get you to press them, and they hit you behind, and we had to make sure we didn't do that today. So we had a, a way that we wanted to play to try and restrict that space and try and hit them on the counter attack, which which we did. How much work goes into that then on the training ground in the days leading up to a game like this? Yeah, quite a lot. We had to obviously we 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 do the analysis, we show the players, then we go and work on it for two or three days, and. The players, to be fair, they were carried it out spectacularly today, I thought. It's the side of the game I suppose the fans don't get to see too much of. So it's... Yeah, listen, that's what it is, isn't it? That's what coaching's about. You've got to put your game plan in place and try and hope it works against theirs. And, and today it did, but I really like the way Crawley play. I think they're a really good outfit. I think they they could still go close to making the playoffs. If you look at the reverse fixture back at their place, we started the first half very well of the game. Didn't take our chance yeah. there today. The different story. We took our chance. That was probably our best footballing performance at Crawley in the first half. Referee should have sent their goalkeeper off, and he didn't. But we were, didn't take our chances. We ended up drawing. But um, today was a diff different kind of performance. The first goal, Ruben Reed gets across his man at the near post. Something that's been screaming for for the last few games. I suppose. Yeah, the, the the two forwards are, are look a threat at the moment, and they've got to keep doing that. How important is that to have the, the threat on both sides with, with Alex Bray and Dale Grubb on the other? Yeah, it's it's important. And, you know, Alex is still coming to terms with um, first-team football and, and that transition. He's not played a lot of football, so it's nice that after an hour we can bring Wishart on and give us a, a different kind of threat. So the wide boys have produced um, chances for the forwards today and, that, and that, that's what you want. I'm sure every manager would lead to is envious of you with Christian Deutsch up front as well, another goal for him. Yeah, we had to go and get Christian though from, from Dagenham, we had to go and gamble on him and everybody told me he couldn't score goals and consistently, but I think that's about 50 odd in 18, 19 months isn't it, so um, he's been a fantastic purchase for the money we paid for him. And second half, really, really compact and really saw the game out well. Yeah. Yeah, that was the pleasing part for me. I would have liked the third goal because you're always thinking, I'm stood there thinking and I'm aware of the other results, how important the three points are and, um, and the third goal would have made it a lot more comfortable but we, we didn't look in too much danger, I didn't feel. No, if it wasn't for the woodwork, I think mean, we would have got that third yeah, goal, wouldn't we? Yeah, uh, great block on the line as well from the rebound. Yeah, um, like you say, going to the changing room, you see the results that have happened around you haven't gone our way but it's, is it important just to focus on yourself? At this I think point? so, I think it's a game less as well for them to to make that gap up, um, it brings other teams above into it now. I think we've moved up again, and it brings you know people like Yeovil and people like them into it. So there's a lot of football to play yet. A fifth win on the bounce at home that must sound nice. Yeah, it does. It takes a lot of doing that to win five games on the trot at home, and I'm not sure when the last time that was.